No, it's just Pekka. Obviously. Yeah. Right, let's get in into the game. It's round of 16 time, guys. Half of the round of 16 is not even here, so... <laughs> Let's get this party started. Yeah. What map is this one? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Frozen right. Temple. Frozen. I like this map actually. Ooh, PVC. Yeah, I mean, me too. I, I think it's like the most standard map right now in the map pool. Yeah. It works out perfect as well because even like the cheesiest thing a Zerg can do, you you have just enough time to yeah. defend it if you're about to. Do it. Yeah, and that, that's how it should be. If, if you've got a good build, you should be able to defend. Alright, in the upper left corner, we have United Team Workers, Flaker, as Protoss in yellow. In the bottom right, in the purple Zerg, we have Flipside Bico Viscosity. Viscosity. As Picker. Yes. Let's see what's going on here. We have a fast expand from Flaker, it looks like. He's walling off at the bottom, which is pretty standard for this map, I guess. Yeah. There's quite a nice wall off you can do, actually. The one yeah. that I like doing. Oh, it'll be interesting to see how he does it. Well, and then comes the scout. The probe is going to see everything, which is nothing. Which is... Oh, he's, is he going to block? He's going to block. The blocking is real. Oh, how I hate it when Protoss do this, man. <laughs> oh, okay. A little bit of miscontrol there from Flaker. Yeah, it's so easy to do as well. New greedy from Wisconsin going gas before pool. But I guess you can get away with it since the toss is fast expanding as well. Yeah. <clears throat> there comes the pool. Zerg seems to do that there. Hatch gas pool build. Yeah. Is the, the is actually Nexus first actually still viable? Is that not extremely greedy from Protoss? Yeah, it depends on the map and what you scout. Like where a, a spawning pool this late, like if you when he scouted that the hatch was going down first, he could have quite easily done it. But it depends. Okay. I, I still use it on Frost because you're not going to get scouted straight away, and even okay. if you do, you've got time. Yeah, well, it's gonna give him a good uh, opportunity to stay ahead or get ahead, right? Mine, he's two drones up right now. Who's pinging? Not me. Hmm? Interesting. There's no one else here who could ping. <laughs> Can they play? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> I've only got my hand on my mouse and that's it. Ooh, Flaker uh, around 300 APM, and uh, right now we have a spike from Picker going up to 600 APM. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of APM, man. Yeah. I couldn't even imagine pressing stuff that quick. Yeah, it's like, it's like what, 10 clicks per second? <laughs> it's crazy fast, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is all looking pretty standard, what do you say? As a toss. It's all like... Be interesting to see what tech the Protoss goes into. Yeah. It should it's happen soon, right? In like about a minute? Yeah, like really soon. Um. Oh, he does not know about the hatch going down there, the third. But I guess he's suspecting it. Robo. I love going. I love that he went for a zealot first to wall off because the zealot will hold an infinite amount of links, basically. Yeah. Plus, the, there's a problem with the adept. You can't really wall off with that. Yeah, it's it's wonky. Yeah, the links somehow sometimes get through. Yeah. That's cheeky though, moving out with this stuff. I mean, the stalker is not the best thing to fight zerglings, right? If they've not got speed though, you can pretty much kite them, like whatever. Speed not on the way? No, it's not. Or did it just... Ah, it just finished. Okay, I missed it. Just finished. 
Well, we should see tech any minute now. Now we have already robotics, three more gates, the gateway explosion happening now. There's a with the way this is going, it might be an adept or mortal attack. I think it might be two base all in. Yeah. I don't know. If if it was that, I would have expected to see the Twilight Council by now. Okay. Because, like, um, as a Zerg, if I don't see um, a third from a toss at like five minutes, I'm gonna be concerned. Yeah. Like, something is up. Yeah, pretty much. Otherwise, they're just really far behind. Yeah, and the Zerg is not that far ahead in, uh, in, in worker count. Oh, uh, well, no, he made a lot of workers, but uh, 12 workers now. But uh, if you look at the unit. At the unit counter, it's like 20 to 8, and it's gonna rise soon now with the warp gates finishing. Did he spot it? Did he spot it? Yeah, he saw two of the gates, so he's gonna know there's an attack coming soon. I mean, not necessarily. It's not that's quite a low number of gates for two bases. Yeah, but he knows there's another third, so he's gonna be really, really, really uh, freaked out now because he knows something is coming. Yeah. I like the move though from Flaker cleaning cleaning uh, and building a pile on there. Maybe he even plans on getting a third now. Yeah, it's, it's quite a late bird, but. Ooh, we have an immortal drop here. It's gonna snatch the queen. Hydras are out now though. Yeah. A lot harder. Yeah, he's gonna run. Yeah, you can't really fight the Hydras. And these days a queen doesn't mean anything because every Zerg gets as many queens as he can. Yeah. So, it's not like a huge amount of damage done. But it puts a bit of pressure on the Zerg. So that's good. Zerg is in a very comfortable position now though, 66 drones. So, um... Yeah, the longer this game goes, and the, the longer the Zerg gonna get ahead, I guess. Yeah, and especially since the board's not even halfway done for the Protoss. Yeah, it's gonna take I a mean, bit. This Lurker Den's half finished, and the Protoss has nothing at all to deal with. Yeah, now the question is, is he gonna go for Disruptors? I guess he is, because there's the Robotics. Yeah, he it's sort of the only option, because he doesn't even have any observers. Yeah. Which is pretty cheeky, actually. Yeah. Well, he's gonna split now, the Lurk then, and then he's gonna get some observers, I guarantee it. There, I mean, he sees it. There is actually no detection at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, since the Zerg doesn't have Dark Templars, you don't necessarily need yeah, detection it, to not well, die. <laughs> yeah, that's true though. That's true. Guess what? Not this game though. And, uh, lurkers are quite a thing as well. <laughs> yeah, but lurkers cannot like move, uh, move in stealthily and kill everything. You see them coming or they're getting dropped, which I haven't seen in a long time. They move in stealthily with lurkers. You could just walk up and burrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he can't walk up there because there's an army standing there. The lurker would just die. Mm, depend on how much. Cause Ooh, the that's... Yes, is really low. Ay, ay, ay. 13 lurkers, man. Yeah, that's Jesus. the sort of number you could just walk up and borrow. <laughs> that's in. a crazy number. <laughs> that's a crazy number of lurkers, man. Look at, look at all these eggs. Jesus Christ. There's no way he's going to hold this third. There's one disruptor out, like he needs like twenty shots to kill everything here. Yeah, I mean one disruptor's not even enough to kill one. No, I think you need two, right? Yeah, you need two shots. Nice yeah. shot, but still not enough. Too little too late. Yeah. Nice force fields though. Cutting the army in, in third there. But the detection is really hurting him now. He's building Colossus. What's he gonna do with Colossus? <laughs> 
Yeah, they, they, they may be useful if they could actually see what they were shooting. Does the Colossus actually outrange a Lurker? It's the uh, same range. No, okay. They upgrade. Like, you have to get the extended yeah. range for the Colossus. But if, if the Colossus can shoot the Lurker, the Lurker can shoot the Colossus. So, yeah, yeah well, really win. he's doing a good job there kiting with the Colossus, but this is just a matter of time until the Zerg overwhelms him here because he has no way to deal with these Lurkers. I mean, he can go go at it with the Disruptor. He just gave up. <laughs> yeah. Just dancing, dancing. Well. Well played. Oh, it looks like manipulation and... Uh, Sosa and Neo Server are not online, so they're gonna get a walkover, which is sad. Yeah. It's like oh, half of the all in participation just disappeared here. <laughs> oh man, uh, it's not that annoying, but oh well. I wonder if XO finished his warm up game yet. It looks like it, the guy he was playing is away. Well, we're taking a very, very short break until the round finishes, and then we'll be right back with the round of eight. See you guys.